we have seen the properties of similarity the similar triangles and now today we will see some more properties of the similar triangles and these properties are nothing but the theorems here we will see the first theorem that is if two triangles are equally angular then the ratio of the corresponding sides is the same as the ratio of the corresponding medians here the two triangles are there a b c and d e f these are the two equally angular triangles means the corresponding angles of both the triangles are equal and we know that if the corresponding angles are equal or both the triangles are equally angular then they are similar to each other each other according to a a a criteria here angle a and angle b they are equal angle b and angle e are equal angle c and angle f these corresponding angles are also equal here ab and bq these are the medians of the two triangles means if ab is the median then p is the due point of bc similarly if bq is the median then q is the mid point of ef and since p is mid point of bc we will get bp is equal to bc or bp is equal to twice bc uh, sorry bc is equal to twice bp here ef is equal to twice eq we can get here now given in the given we always write the information about the figure here in a triangle abc and triangle d e f angle a equal to angle d means both the corresponding angles are equal similarly angle d equal to angle e so angle c is equal to angle e f and ap and d q are the medians so all this information is uh, indicated in given now to prove we have to prove that the ratio of the corresponding sides now here median ap intersects sides bc in a point p and median bq intersects side ef in a point q so we are going to see the corresponding side that is bc upon ef bc upon ef and the ratio of median is ap upon dq so bc upon ef is equal to ap upon dq so we have to prove this ratio that is bc upon eq is equal to ap upon dq now we have to see the proof we know that equilateral equiangular triangles are similar is both the triangles we have mentioned above that both the triangles are equiangular angular and therefore triangle abc is a similar to the triangle def so first equation we got here that is triangle abc similar triangle def here we can write the criteria also that is a a a criteria and now we know that if the triangles are similar then corresponding sides are proportional means ab upon d ab upon d equal to bc upon ef is equal to bc upon ef this is equation number 1 but just now i have mentioned that P is the midpoint of BC. P is the midpoint of BC. Or we can write B between S, P between S, C, and therefore BP plus PC is equal to BC. But we know that P is the midpoint, so BP is equal to PC. This PC can be written as BP, and therefore. 
BC is equal to 2BP. BC is equal to BC is equal to 2BP. Similarly, Q is also the midpoint of EF. And therefore, we can write EF is equal to 2EQ. EF is equal to 2EQ. So, instead of BC and EF, we can write here by replacing BC by 2BP and replacing EF by 2EQ, we get AB upon BE is equal to 2BP upon 2EQ. Here, 2, 2 will get cancelled and then we will get AB upon BE is equal to BE upon EQ. And now, in a triangle A, B, P and a triangle B, Q. Here we got two triangles, A, B, P and B, E, Q. Here, we know that A, B upon B is equal to B, P upon E, Q. Here, we can write here, from above equation we can write A, B upon E is equal, is equal to B, P upon EQ and this is equation number 2. Similarly, the two signs this AB and BP and the angle included by these two signs is angle B. Similarly, here BE and EQ is here. So, BE and EQ and angle included by them is angle E. Means, here angle B equal to angle E because it is given in D. We know that it is given. So, angle B equal to angle E we can get here. And now, the two sides and there, if the corresponding two sides, the ratio of the corresponding two sides or if the corresponding sides, two sides of the two triangles are proportional and angle included by them are equal then according to yes a yes criteria both the triangles are similar here by yes a s criteria we can write that a b b similar triangle b e q and if the two triangles are similar then corresponding sides are proportional this a b upon b equal to a p upon b q AC upon DQ. So that is equation number 3. And now from equation 1 and 3, here equation 1 is AB upon BE is equal to BC upon EF. So from equation 1 and 3, we know that EHS of both the equations is same and therefore RHS of both the equation must be equal. So BC upon EF is equal to AP upon B. So, here BC upon EF is equal to AP upon DQ. Now, we have to prove that BC upon EF is equal to AP upon DQ. Hence, the ratio of the corresponding sides is the same as the ratio of the corresponding medians. In this way, we have proved this theorem or this property. Here, there is one more theorem. That is, if two sides and a median by setting one of these sides of a triangle of a triangle are proportional to the two sides and the corresponding median of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Here, triangle A, B, C and triangle D, E, F are the two triangles such that the two sides and median means here two sides are A, B and B, C of one triangle and D and E, F. These are the two corresponding sides of the two triangles and A, P and D, Q. These are the medians. If these two sides are proportional, means AB upon B equal to BC upon EQ, these two sides are proportional. And similarly, 
Variance are also proportional. This AB upon DQ. Here it is given that AB upon DE equal to DC upon EQ is equal to AB upon DQ. Means the corresponding two sides and the two medians of the two triangles are proportional. Then we have to prove that the two triangles are similar. So, first of all, we will write given means the information of the figure here. So, in a triangle ABC and a triangle DEF, AP and DQ are the medians. AP and DQ are the medians such as that AB upon D equal to BC upon EF and that is equal to AP upon DQ. Here, since AP is a median, then P is the middle point of DC, DQ is the median, therefore Q is the middle point of EF and then we have to prove that both the triangles are similar. Means to prove that in this situation, both the triangles are similar. This angle ABC, similar triangle DEF. And now let us see proof. So, remind that while pro proving the theorem, we must prefer the statements of uh, equations in the given. Yes, in the given, the equation is that AB upon DE equal to BC upon EF is equal to AP upon DQ. So, I have taken here for the proof, I have taken AB upon DE equal to BC upon EF is equal to AP upon DQ. And now, it implies that AB upon DE and GP is equal to in the same ratio in the second ratio, if we multiply numerator and denominator by one half, then there is no change in the equality. So, one half BC divided by one half EF is equal to AP upon DQ. AP upon DQ. Now, we know that P is the middle point. So, BC is equal to BC or one half BC is equal to BP. Similarly, Q is the midpoint of EF. So, one half EF is equal to EQ. So, here instead of one half BC, I have taken here BP and instead of one half EF, I have written here EQ. So, we will take the next step that AB upon DE equal to BP upon EQ is equal to AP upon DQ as it is. And now, if we observe the above ratio, then we will see that the proportional, the corresponding sides of triangle ABP and triangle DEQ are proportional. Means AB upon D is equal to BP upon EQ is equal to AP upon DQ. We know that according to yes, yes, yes criteria, the triangle A, G, P, triangle B, G, Q, they must be similar. So, I have written here triangle A, B, P, similar triangle B, Q, according to yes, yes, yes criteria. But, here, the, since two triangles are similar, the corresponding angles must be equal. Means angle B equal to angle E. So, we have written here angle B equal to angle E and now in a triangle ABC and a triangle GPL. Now we will consider the our original triangle ABC and triangle BEF. So we know that here from the above equations we can take that AB upon BE is equal to BC, BC upon EF because these two triangles are similar and the angle B and angle E, these two angles are equal. Now, these two ratios are proportional, this corresponding sides are proportional and the angle included by the two sides 
R equals to this force, triangle ABC, similar triangle BF. Means triangle ABC, similar triangle BF. Do we know the SAS criteria? Means if the two sides of one triangle are proportional to the corresponding two sides of another triangle and the angle included by these two si sides are equal then by SAS criteria these two triangles must be similar in this way we have to prove that triangle ABC similar triangle DEF now here we have very important property of the two similar triangle that is area of the two similar triangle means this is very important theorem here we have to study now the theorem states that the ratio of the area of the two triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of the corresponding two sides or any sides. Here, the ratio of the area of the two triangles, two similar triangles, is equal to the ratio of squares of any two corresponding sides. Here, we have to remember one thing that both the triangles must be similar. So, this is the very important condition that if the two triangles are similar then and then it is possible that the ratio of area of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the square of the cor corresponding sides. So, here we have to prove that area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle B F is equal to A B square upon B square is equal to B C square upon B F square is equal to A C square upon B F square. I will state the theorem again that if the two triangles are similar, very important condition that if the two triangles are similar, then the ratio of area of the two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides and therefore here in a triangle A, B, C and in a triangle B, E, F these two triangles are similar mind when if the two triangles are similar then corresponding sides are proportional and corresponding angles are equal means angle A equal to angle D angle B equal to angle E and angle C equal to angle F similarly we can write AB upon BE equal to BC upon EF is equal to AC upon DF now we will write first given so in the given we have to write that the two triangles are similar two triangles are similar means if the two triangles are similar then means the statement between if and then is given and in it is given that both the triangles are similar. So, triangle ABC, similar triangle DEF. Then, to prove that, area triangle ABC divided by area triangle DEF is equal to AB square on B square is equal to BC square on EF square is equal to AC square upon DF square. Now, to prove this theorem, there is a construction in the figure that draw AL perpendicular to BC and BF perpendicular to EF. Means, 
AL and DM. These are the perpendiculars or we can say altitudes. Here, L is not the median, M is not the median. Mind me. Now, we have to prove this theorem. So, we will write proof now. So, by using the information in the given, that is triangle ABC, similar triangle BEF, it is given. Now, if both the triangles are similar, then corresponding angles are equal. Angles are equal, sides are proportional. Angles are equal, sides are proportional. So, angle A equal to angle D, angle B equal to angle E, and angle C equal to angle F. Similarly, corresponding sides are proportional means AB upon B equal to AB upon B equal to BC upon EF and that is equal to AC upon BF and that is equation number 1. Now, if we consider the triangle ABL and BEM, here we know that the, this angle is a 90 degree that is ALB is 90 degree DME that is equal to 90 degree here first of all we will see that AB upon D is equal to is equal to AL upon DM AL upon DM so by equation now from equation 1 and 2 we can write here AB upon DE is there here also AB upon DE is there and now we can write AB upon DE is equal to BC upon EF is equal to AC upon DF and that is equal to AL upon DM and this is equation number 3 now We know that the area of triangle ABC is equal to one half base into height. That is one half base into BC height is AL. So we will write here area of triangle ABC is equal to one half BC into AL. That is one half base into height divided by area of triangle DE again. We will apply the same formula that is one half base into height here. So one half into base is EF, EF into height is DM. Here one half, one half will get cancelled. Then we will get area angle ABC divided by area angle DEF is equal to BC upon EF into AL upon DM or BC into AL divided by EF into DM. But we know that here from equation 3 we can write that AL upon DM is equal to BC upon EF. So AL upon DM is equal to BC upon EF. Now we will define, uh, remove AL upon DM and uh, put there BC upon EF. So area angle ABC upon area angle DM is equal to BC upon EM, BC upon EM into AL upon DM, AL upon DM is BC upon EM but BC into BC will be BC square and EF into EM again EF square now we know that here from equation uh, equation 1 we can write here that BC upon EF is equal to AB upon B is equal to AC upon BF. Now, if we square, we get AB square upon BF square, AB square upon D square. Uh, sorry, here BC square upon EF square is equal to AB square upon D square, and that is equal to AC square upon BF square. So, 
If we do the above equation, then we will get that area triangle ABC upon area triangle EF is equal to AB square upon EF square that is equal to AB square upon B square that, that is equal to BC square upon EF square and AC square upon DF square. So, in this way we have proved our theorem. See the next property of the two similar triangles. We have one more theorem here that is the area of two similar triangles are in the ratio of the squares of the corresponding radians. The area of two similar triangles are in the ratio of the squares of the corresponding radians. Before it, we have seen that if the two triangles are similar, then the ratio of the area of the two triangles, similar triangles, is equal to the ratio of the square of the corresponding two sides. Here it is given that area of two similar triangles means both the triangles are similar and the ratio of these two triangles is equal to the squares of the corresponding radians. Squares of the corresponding radians means area triangle ABC divided by area triangle DEF is equal to AB square upon DQ square. So we have to prove. Now, given, in the given, it is given that both the triangles are similar. So, triangle ABC, similar triangle DEF. And to prove that, if the two triangles are similar, then ratio of the area of these two triangles, that is area triangle ABC divided by area triangle DEF is equal to the ratio of the squares of the radians means AP square upon DQ square. Now, proof. It is given that triangle ABC similar triangle DEF and therefore applying the area of similar triangles that is if the two triangles are similar then the ratio of the area of the two Similar triangle is equal to the ratio of the square of the remaining of the corresponding sides. Means area triangle ABC divided by area triangle DEF is equal to AB square upon DE square is equal to BC square upon EF square is equal to AC square upon DF square. But instead of all the ratios, we have taken only area triangle ABC upon area triangle DEF is equal to a B square upon B square only, only the ratio A B square upon B square. So that is equation number one. Again, consider we have given that area triangle A B C similar triangle B F. We know that if the triangles are similar, the corresponding sides are proportional, and therefore A B upon B is equal to B C upon E F. But here it is given that A P is the median, DQ is the median, so P is the midpoint, Q is the midpoint of BC and EF respectively. So here BC is equal to 2 BP and EF is equal to 2 EQ. So instead of BC we have written here 2 BP, 2 BP and instead of e, EF, EF, there is 2 EQ. Here 2, 2 will get cancelled and we will get BP upon EQ means AB upon B, AB upon B is equal to BP upon EQ and that is equation number 2. Now, in a triangle ABP, ABP and a triangle BU, we know that here AB upon B is equal to BP upon EQ means from equation 2 we have written these two ratios are equal and Angle B equal to angle E means if the two sides of one triangle are 
proportional to the corresponding two sides of the another triangle and the angle included by the are also equal then by yes a yes similarity criteria both the triangles are similar and same criteria we have applied here that is ab upon d ab upon d equal to db upon eq and angle b equal to angle e and therefore triangle a b is similar triangle d e q by s a s criteria here we have taken s a s criteria and if the two triangles are similar then we can write that corresponding sides are proportional that is ab upon d is equal to bp upon eq bp upon eq is equal to ap upon dq is equal to ap upon dq but the ab upon d we have not considered here only bp upon eq is equal to ap upon dq and that is equation number 3 now from equation 2 and 3 from equation 2 and 3 here bp upon eq is there here also bp upon eq is there so ap upon dq ap upon dq is equal to ab upon d ab upon d and now squaring on both sides we will get ab square upon d square is equal to ap square upon dq square and that is equation number 4 now from equation 1 and 4 here equation 1 is given that area triangle abc upon area triangle def is equal to ab square upon d square but ab square upon d square is equal to ap square upon dq square and therefore from equation 1 and 2 we will get area triangle abc upon area triangle def is equal to ap square upon dq square and that is our proof this we have to prove area triangle abc upon area triangle def is equal to ap square upon dq square so this was the property that if the two triangles are similar then their ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of the square of the corresponding medians now here one more property we have to see now here it is given that if the areas of two similar triangles are equal means both the triangles are similar and area of both the triangles is equal so area of two similar means both the triangles are similar and areas are equal areas are equal then the triangles are congruent mind well congruent means for the congruency of the two triangles corresponding sides must be equal corresponding angles must be equal but it is sufficient to prove that corresponding sides are equal or this theorem can be stated in another words as equal and similar triangles are congruent both the triangles are equal means they are congruent but we have to prove that equal and similar triangles are congruent so here triangle abc and triangle dpf both the triangles are of equal area and both the triangles are similar here we will write given this information of these two figures that is triangle abc and triangle def are such that triangle abc similar triangle df here both the triangles are similar and area triangle abc equal to area triangle def is both the triangles have equal area and now to prove that both the triangles are congruent both the triangles are congruent now proof triangle abc similar triangle df means it is given that both the triangles are similar and now we know that if the triangles are similar then corresponding angles are equal so angle a angle k equal to angle d angle b equal to angle e angle c equal to angle f so angle a equal to angle d angle b equal to angle e angle c equal to angle f 
F and if the two triangles are similar, then corresponding sides must be proportional. Yes, AB upon D, AB upon D is equal to BC upon EF and AC upon DF, AC upon DF. Here. In order to prove that both the triangles are congruent, I have just stated that it is sufficient to show that AB equal to D, BC equal to DF, and AC is equal to DF. Means corresponding sides are equal. If corresponding sides are equal, then the triangles must be congruent. Now, here it is given that area of both the triangles is equal area is equal it is given and now if we take the ratio that is area triangle abc upon area triangle df then its value is 1 means ratio is 1 and now we know that if the two triangles are similar then the ratio of the areas of the two similar triangles ratio of the areas of the two similar triangles is equal to ratio of the square of the corresponding two sides means a b square upon b square is equal to b c square upon e f square is equal to a c square upon b f square so here value of this ratio is 1 and therefore a b square upon b square is equal to 1 b c square upon e f square is equal to 1 and AC square upon DA square is equal to 1. So I have written here AB square upon DA square is equal to 1, BC square upon EF square is equal to 1, AC square upon EF square, DA square is equal to 1. And now here we will get that AB square, D square is divided into multiply 1. So we will get here AB square is equal to D square, BC square is equal to EF square and AC square is equal to square and now taking square root on both sides we will get a b equal to d b c is equal to d f and a c is equal to d f and it gives that both the triangles are congruent because corresponding sides are equal therefore by side 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 criteria of the color of the um, congruence both the triangles are congruent to each other. So, in this way, we have seen some important properties and which are the theorems for the similarity of the similar, similar triangles.